What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Fanny Season, a.k.a. Fanna, and if you're OG, you might even know me as Imagine Slain, and I know what you guys are thinking. Fanna, where's your face cam? Where's your face cam? I need to get this dribble tutorial out to you guys ASAP. It's already been three days since my last video. I told you guys I was gonna get in that one bag. It's already been three days. It's time to get this out to y'all. Uh, literally, right now, half of my head is f***ing twisted, and half of my head is braided. Matter of fact, let me just show y'all real quick, bro. My hair is looking crazy, bro. The other half of my head was literally still twisted up and half of it was out. I just cannot make a video like that with the face cam on the whole time. I can't take myself serious. But it's already been three days and I gotta get this tutorial out to you boys. But the gameplay you're watching right now is for my wager against Justin. And you guys were asking me exactly what sigs and you guys have also been asking for a more advanced dribble tutorial i've already given you guys two different tutorials and they were honestly just more like common moves but today i'm coming at you boys with that advanced dribble tutorial it's getting that time of the year where it's really time to lock in let's get down to the nitty gritty as you guys can see we are on that gatorade court ready to break down these moves the way i'm going to do this video i'm going to show you guys how to do each and every move with the sigs and then i'm going to show you how i chain them together now, keep in mind, I do L2 cancel with L1. If you guys don't already know how to do that, if you're on PlayStation, you could just boom, go to controller settings, scroll all the way down, controllers, custom button assignments, click that on, and then you can switch it just like that, how I have it switched if you're on PlayStation. If you're on Xbox, you can also do it with Elite Controller or download the app for the 8-bit controller if you use the 8-bit. That being said, and now that you guys understand that's how I'm L2 canceling, let's get into breaking down each and every move. We have our Steve Francis, which is just this right here. If I do with my crossover, it looks like this. This is Kemba as well, as you guys seen from the other video. We have our Steve Francis and Kemba. What you guys are looking at is Kemba right here, this is my Kemba. If I do it running left and right L2 canceling, this is what it looks like. That's Kemba. This is what it looks like without the L2 cancel, which is still decent. And then obviously we have our Steph Curry snatch like this, which I love L2 canceling out of the Kemba into the snatch like so. And for the jump shot, if you guys are curious, it's Patty Mills base. Have to be SS3 to get it. All right, we got our snatch down. We have our behind the back, which is you just hold R2 down. Hold R2 down, flick diagonally down to the opposite ball hand. And then we have our combo size ups and I don't do those. I don't, I forget even how to do it. We have our misdirection, which is hold your right trigger diagonally down to the opposite ball hand like so. So the same way I do it behind the back like this, the balls in my left hand, I'm doing it behind the back to my right and with my left stick, I'm moving it to the same ball hand. So if it's, a, if, if it's in my left hand, I'm doing my normal behind the back like so, right? Except as soon as I'm doing it at the same time, I'm moving my left stick to the ball hand, so to the left. And then that's my misdirection. And now you see in my right hand, same way, you do that move as if you do that normal behind the back, left stick to the right hand. That's your misdirection, how to do it that way. Same things applies, except you could do it forward with the Kemba cross. Same how like this is a Kemba cross, like so, while you're holding R2. Uh, same ball hand like this with the left stick, you get the move, and then you could do the same thing if it's in the left, same ball hand, and you get the move like that. I don't do those too much, but like I guess like I'll show you how I could throw that into my combos. Like let's say I'm just size up, sizing up in place, in place. You guys see, I could just throw that in there, and it doesn't really do anything. It's just like. I can just switch it up like that, you know what I mean? So, and then we have our L2 cancel. If you don't know how to L2 cancel, I have an in-depth video. Make I have Bodak put it in the description because that's honestly very important for this dribble tutorial because I'm L2 canceling out of the majority of these things. Other than this, we can also get a whole, let me know if you guys need a whole separate breakdown on the timing to this move because I don't even have it down all the way. But I don't know if you guys have peeped it, but like for my sweats, I'm sure you guys have been like, how is he inching like I inch forward to where I want to go and then I could snap the next move I can inch forward with this is called the left stick cancel I inch forward and then I can snap the behind the back and that's not a L2 cancel That's nothing like that. It's just a straight left stick cancel now to give you an example of the best situation to do this in Let's say I'm dribbling on the wing. I fake middle, snatch it back to the wing, and that's a fry every single time. Now, I'm not going to spend the whole video breaking this down because this is very complicated. It's actually very simple, but very complicated in terms of getting the time down. Let me know if you guys want me to make a full video on that in the comments right now. And basically, all I'm doing is moving my left stick slightly, literally slightly, like 
you just push it to that direction and then like with the right timing you instantly snap it back to the opposite hand or whatever you want to do i can i can fake one way and kemba cross back so like example like how i fake go that way and then i can go back like that you can do it like that but i honestly just think that the move is best with that behind the back so that's why i do it that way let's also get into this kemba cross into running to the opposite ball hand so normal kemba cross r2 held right stick to the opposite ball hand and then you can date that hard crossover now this video is going to be very useful i feel like to a wide majority of people because a lot of builds can unlock kemba you do not need insane uh dribbling and ball handling to get kemba so a lot of you guys have kemba i use this on my 6-6 six, six sharp and it is very effective this crossover right here especially on bigger builds like a 6-6 six, six, like that fake crossover it pulls you to the wing you could get a nice shot off if they're sitting on your middle or if it's just a pocket behind the screen this cross right here you can l2 cancel out of so i'm l2 canceling into the behind the back so let's get this down right here we're crossover and I snap it back to the behind the back i'll keep doing it and i want you to look at the sticks you probably already understand how to do this since i just showed you like the cross all i'm doing is l2 canceling out of it like so behind the back and that's just all that is now let's get into some standstill combos let's go with step one here let's get this misdirection we know how to do our misdirections you could cross out of it into a l2 cancel and especially for my guys on those bigger builds or the people who use magic johnson i want you to imagine you have magic johnson and you just did a normal crossover like this where you cross over to the, your left hand no r2 hold r2 boom i know you guys have, have been playing this magic cross i have Kyrie. i'm on a small guard right now so my cross looks baby but you know if i had magic cross this would be launching me at 100 miles per hour that move right there you can L2 cancel out of that, like so. I want you to look at the controller. I'll do it repetitively until you guys get it down. This with the magic cross for my bigger build, fellas, this is a bucket getter. Now, beware. If you L2 cancel in the midi, it will throw you into this animation. So I, see how it just puts me in a midi, and even when I try to behind the back, I'm just stuck. I don't know what it is, but your, your, your post up just activates like a lot heavier in the midi, so. Um, that's a no-go. L2 canceling in the midi, try to stay away from it. If you feel like you're messing up and you feel like you're doing it right and you're in the midi, that's why. It's not you, just the midi. Back to what I was saying though, this hard cross into the behind the back is a kill for my uh, either Kemba users. And you can also use Kemba and that Magic Johnson uh, style to where you're getting that super hard cross. If you're confused, I can make another video showing you guys a six six is dribble moves because i have a shooting guard build now also i can let me i can you can momentum this year i don't do it at all i'm gonna be honest i've always been a momentum guy but i just don't this year i don't know what it is but for those that do want to you flick i think to the opposite ball hand and just follow with the left stick this year but yeah kind of upwards you can momentum back and forth like that this year again if you want to like momentum into a behind a back like so you can do that I guess let's just take more time into figuring out this left stick cancel because this is honestly just extremely advanced all you guys are watching right now is me doing the the fake one way the left stick cancel into the next move i like keep doing it back and forth so you can look at the controller and see how i'm doing it so you're doing it with your left stick once again flicking it one way in the slightest and you're snapping your any move you want i'm doing the behind the back because i feel like it's just the easiest to see so you guys see exactly how I'm doing it. I'm moving my left stick, pulling two forward a little bit, and then you just do whatever move, snapping it back. I keep saying that, I know, but it's because it honestly is difficult. I want you guys to even go try it yourselves right now. You could do it on any build that is capable of speed boosting. So this is very simple, and I feel like this is great size up to learn for guards. Okay, so you want to hold R2. You want to Kemba cross into your francis and then snatch to your curry snatch after so i'm doing basically cross no r2 kemba kemba cross with r2 and then keeping r2 held and then doing as the curry snatch and even to take one further you can flick it down again and you could get a behind the back out of this move so if i'm on the wing it would look like this and then that can easily break a defender down for so you could get your shot off next move i'm going to show you guys it's i want you guys to get this in your bag as just somebody who likes to run around 
I want you guys to learn how to L2 cancel out of a dead sprint. So now, I know I showed you guys how to L2 cancel out your speed boost and whatnot. And this same thing applies, the same thing applies to just running like this. See how like I'm literally can just be running one place and I just snap into a move. That is very effective with the behind the back this year, especially for my guys with that magic cross. So let's say I'm boom, taking a wing and I can snatch it back out the sprint. Now let me show you the difference. This is without L2, stop and then snap it. Like that's how long it takes. Like, yeah, you can still do it relatively fast, but it's not the same as that's with it. So like, let's say I'm boom, beating them wing. I could snatch it back middle. And especially for my boys that play pro in, when you're rapping with your shooting guard, or even if you're just rapping up the court or coming up the court in general, let's just say you're getting full court press, right? Let's act like this is a back court right now. I'm trying to get up the court. He's bumping me. I'm taking him wide. You can L2 cancel into your Kemba cross and run. You can L2 cancel into your behind the back and run off that. Or you can L2 cancel into your behind the, like let's say he's trying to beat me, L2 cancel into that and then you could just Francis cross out of that and keep going the same way if they like jump the behind the back, you know what I mean? This If this behind the back is risky, right? Like let's say they're really on your hip. When somebody's on your hip and you wanna back the ball out but you don't wanna do that behind the back with your L2 cancel, you can do the same L2 cancel with the curry snatch. So let's say I'm taking it wide, boom, like so. Taking it wide, boom, wide, boom. And as you guys can see, my L1 is my L2, remember that? I'm just L2 canceling and snatching back. And what that move right there does is you guys kind of see how it like looks like I'm going midi and it pulls me like almost like from the midi right to on top of the line. The game will pull you back if you're on next gen. I haven't played current. I know last year current gen didn't pull you back to the three at all. But next gen 100% they brought that back to where that is your go-to crab move. You can even do that off the Kemba combo that I showed you guys. This, where you just run out of it. So I'm holding R2 and flick an opposite ball hand, crossing back, and I'm just curry snatch out of it. Boom, boom, curry snatch. Same way you can boom, boom behind the back, but let's say they're sitting on that and they're trying to blitz it. You've done that a couple times. Boom, boom, curry snatch, they could be crap. Or you can even seal it with your another Kemba cross if, they're, if you're not too confident in what the crab's showing you. You can seal it again with the Kemba cross. It'll pull you back to the three-point line. Comboing up, I do this a lot. Like, like that's my go-to, like, damn near combo sequence to where I'm doing that. The same thing I showed you guys with the uh, Francis Kemba snatch behind the back. I do that Francis Kemba misdirection and then I can even Francis out of it and snatch it back but it's really this this right here this Francis Kemba I want you guys to really get this down if you're a guard especially with right stick ripper being a thing this year if you're getting ripped a lot a lot of you guys probably don't even understand that when you're getting ripped a lot it's probably because they just have right stick ripper and they're guessing correctly fundamental basics to all these moves and combo sequence to where I start chaining it like this with the misdirection. I can even do that front crossover. I could do the left stick one. If I had Magic Johnson, that would be the aggressive cross. That's the left stick cancel. I could do it again. That's the left stick cancel. Like when you put it all together like that, you can really break your defender down and fry them. But it all stems from once again, this, just my Francis into the cross, just like this. No R2 with R2. Do it real fast. No R2 with R2. Now, no R2 with R2 to the misdirection. Boom, 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 boom into the snatch. No R2 with R2, snatch. No R2 with R2, snatch. And when I'm saying no R2 with R2, I'm saying to the opposite ball hand. So no R2 to the opposite ball hand, with R2 to the opposite ball hand, snatch backwards, straight down. This is peak meta dribbling. This is what you're seeing from your pros, 2K League players, people who are completely competing to win. I'm a competitive player. I wager for money. I play for money and I play comp stage. That's what I do. That's what I make my living off of. Competitive gameplay and not more of content creation, flashy dribbling. This is basically just all the meta dribbling, which is just simple dribble moves. And then you just chain them together. Let me put you guys on on this one. Trey cross into our Kemba cross. No R2 with R2 off that first dribble, snatch back. This is frying, especially if I go to park or play 1v1 or something like that. This is just absolutely cooking, I promise you. That's it with the snatch, that's it with the behind the back. If you're getting that momentum a lot while you're L2 canceling, let your move play out a little bit more. That's all that is. 
All you have to do is just let your move play out. See, I could literally wait this long and still sprint out of the L2 cancel. You know what I mean? Like, once again, I can L2 cancel and just wait. As long as you're actually getting stopped on the dime and you're getting your crossover, if you keep getting that momentum, just slow down for a second and watch yourself do the whole crossover. Just so you're like, okay, I'm getting the move down. And I want you to slowly but surely practice running back out of it the opposite way and you'll 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 get out of this bad habit of accidentally doing that that's pretty much it that's gonna be it for this advanced dribble tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys liked it i'm sorry if it was confusing i was honestly just winging this video because it's really hard to just kind of drop an advanced dribble tutorial because nothing's too advanced about it it's nothing but meta dribbling except doing it at the right time and frequently and smoothly now if you guys seen any combo sequences i did without actually breaking it down that you'd like to learn let me know what i could do better in the comments i promise you guys i will read them it's your boy fantasy season aka fana and if you're og you might even know me as imagine slaying and i'm out peace